Well, my name is Aviko Satsa. Uh, I'm an artist by profession. To clean an art, usually I use canvas, acrylic or oil. Sometimes I do watercolor also. I get inspiration from uh, the daily life, the daily activities, nature, environment and social issues. When I create an art, uh, I usually go into my own zone, my own space. Uh, like uh, when I focus on my painting, I lost in the into the art. So uh, usually, it gives peace uh, and free our soul, free our mind. So it's actually a therapy for me. Drug. Abuse and drug use in Nagaland is, I think it's rising and I think it's an important issue which we have to, we, we should uh, educate one another uh, and through injecting and through using drugs, uh, injecting uh, and exchanging the uh, syringe, uh, you can get HIV and AIDS. Uh, like when you inject the, the syringe which, which a person has an HIV and then you use the same thing, you get HIV positive. So I think it's um, an important issue. Today I'm going to make an art, an abstract art with uh, acrylic on canvas on the topic risk behavior and risk reduction strategies HIV through drug abuse and injecting drug users. When I first get this uh, topic, um, the first thing which came to my mind is blood. So uh, in my art, uh, there will be a, a kind of a red uh, color and there will be some few abstract meaning. Through that blood, I was thinking uh, to put uh, a footprint which is coming out from the blood. So it will signify something like coming out from the behavior or the, the lifestyle which you are into uh, getting the HIV and AIDS. So coming out from that, uh, creating that abstract will give some message to my viewers. Through this art, I want to convey the message like the red signifies the virus of HIV and AIDS and the uh, footprints uh, which is coming out from the blood uh, represents that uh, you should never go or indulge in uh, drug abuse or drug uses or if you do there is always a way to turn back there is a way to recover and get away from your addiction